Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Perpetual here. If you're new, you are warmly welcome. And thank you all so much for joining me today as I make some absolutely delicious sobolo. Come along and let's get started. And as always, the exact measurements will be in the description box below. So I am just starting with my pineapple. I'm going to be using the peel in my sobolo base and then I'm going to be blending the actual pineapple fruit in a little bit so I'm just getting that ready now. And I'm also peeling some ginger. When I peel ginger for sobolo, I'm not too particular with getting all the skin off because it is actually said that the peel is also medicinal. So I don't mind if I leave a little bit on it. And I am just getting my spice mixed together here with some cloves, some peppercorns, and I'll be blending that all together. Of course, the exact ingredients and the measurements will be in the description box. And guys, I'll have a video coming up very soon with a lot of our Ghanaian spices and how to use it. And for our pineapple, I have some water going into my blender and I'm going to add my chopped up pineapple with some of the ginger and I'm going to blend it all together. And once it is nice and smooth, I will stop my blender and then keep going with the rest of my sobolo. And for my hibiscus flowers that I am using, which is actually the main ingredient in the sobolo, I am giving it a quick rinse. And guys, as you can tell, the color is amazing because just from rinsing it, I get this nice color. I'm going to get that into my pot that I'm going to be using to boil it. And I'm going to get some warm water in there. It is just to make the cooking process faster for me. I like quick little hacks like this. If you use cold water, it's fine as well, but I just, again, want it a lot faster. And I have added some of my ginger to my hibiscus flowers as well. And one thing I love about Sobolo is the fact that we do not waste anything. So my pineapple peels are going in as well. And while that simmers away, I'm gonna get my pineapple down into a strainer so that I can get all the juice out. And this is going to act as a sweetener for my sobolo. It is optional, but I personally never make sobolo without adding the pineapple to it. So I like to strain it twice. So that's exactly what I did. Of course, if you don't mind having a little bit of pulp in your sobolo, then of course you can do it just once. And now it is time for me to check on my sobolo after about 10 to 15 minutes. And the color is amazing. <laughs> and guys, it tastes absolutely delicious. And the good thing is, it is said that it helps boost your immunity. And with everything going on in the world right now, we need all the help we can get. And I also just added about a tablespoon of my mixed spices that I ground earlier on. So I'm gonna give it a quick stir to allow that to infuse nicely into my drink. And while we allow our sobolo to simmer away, guys, if you have enjoyed this video so far, or if you have enjoyed the content of my channel, Please, if you have not yet subscribed, be sure to hit on that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell as well so that you know when I upload more amazing videos.
Now guys, this drink can be enjoyed hot or cold. I definitely always prefer it very cold, but once you take it off the heat, you are free to enjoy it as a warm drink if that is your preference. Since I like mine really cold, I'm gonna allow it to cool down ever so slightly so that I can continue mixing up the rest of my ingredients. So I'm gonna strain my pineapple and ginger juice one more time and then I'm gonna start getting my Sobolo drink into my pineapple juice mix. So I'm just straining that directly into the pineapple juice. And guys, this drink has definitely been the drink of the year. Actually, last year too. I think we had more Sobolo in 2020 than I have ever had in my life because, well, it's healthy. And again, we were trying everything possible to stay safe and healthy. So, hey, it was a delicious way to boost our immunity. guys i had some extra ginger juice that i was gonna use for some pineapple and ginger juice with my leftover pineapple so to kick up that heat a little bit more i added about a quarter cup of that blended ginger juice also strained into my sobolo just to kick it up and get it a little bit more spicy than what i had initially and because my pineapple was not extra sweet i went in with about a quarter cup of honey to sweeten it up of course you can use sugar you can use sweetener or you can leave it as is if you don't want it as sweet and i'm gonna get it into my bottle and guys the next time you're getting anything from me please add a funnel to it because clearly i need one i struggled getting it into this bottle but hey i spilled a little bit but that is totally fine and guys once you bottle it up allow it to chill and your sobolo will be ready to be served guys this is amazing by itself with some meat pie with some cake anything you can think of guys it can even be a side for your fufu on that hot sunday afternoon that you're enjoying and guys that is it our sobolo is ready and my loves if you enjoyed this video please be sure to give me a thumbs up and remember to tell a friend to tell a friend about my amazing channel and thank you so much for coming along with me on this absolutely delicious journey. Take care guys.